Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli. With me today, of course, is co founder of The Gaggle, Peter Lavelle, host also of Artie's talk show, Crosstalk. Well, um, another day, another appointment by the Biden administration of a Russiagate veteran. Um, the other day, we learned that the uh, Justice Department's National Security Division has hired as its counsel, Susan Hennessy. Now, for those who are not fully aware who Susan Hennessy is, uh, she worked at the NSA uh, during the Obama administration. She worked as a counsel there. And then um, when the Trump administration came to power, uh, she decamped to the Brookings Institution and, uh, and then uh, wrote a blog called Lawfare Blog. Now, what's very interesting about um, Hennessy is that she is the most ferocious, ardent, implacable, uh, uncompromising, unremitting um, Russia gator there is. From start to finish, she has been absolutely committed to the Russiagate thesis, namely that Trump colluded with Putin to steal the 2016 election. She believed implicitly uh, in the Steele dossier. She continued to defend the Steele dossier. And let's remember, the Steele dossier originated in the Brookings Institution. The people who were there at Brookings, um, Fiona Hill, your friend Peter, um, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the guy that uh, Fiona Hill recommended to Christopher Steele, namely uh, Danchenko, who provided him with essentially a lot of barroom gossip, which was the confidential sources. And then, of course, there was Stroke Talbot, who was the head of the Brookings Institution. He was also instrumental in uh, then getting that um, uh, the Steele dossier to the, into the right hands. So there she was in the Brookings Institution. And... For years and years, she's been peddling this uh, Russiagate narrative through her innumerable uh, tweets, uh, which incidentally, she has now taken down. All of them are taken down. And CNN uh, and MSNBC and- Yeah, yeah, all, all of that uh, she has done. And uh, indeed, she went so far as to um, claim that the Inspector General, the DOJ Inspector General, Michael Horowitz, who wrote a very damaging report about the FBI uh, so, and surveillance of Carter Page, the, its deceit of the, uh, the, uh, the FISA court, very critical about. She nonetheless insisted that um, Horowitz was part of some Trump uh, bar conspiracy. Uh, so now she's in the um, uh, Biden administration in the Justice Department. So we kind of know what's coming. There is going to be uh, a real reckoning with everybody who tried to um, and successfully refuted the nonsense that was Russiagate. We've already seen the attacks on um, Rudy Giuliani last week. Um, what's coming, I think, next will be an onslaught against everybody who worked to undermine the role Russiagate story. So those who investigated, those quote investigators will now find themselves uh, targeted, you know, should they have done something at all untoward, you know, I, um, they will suddenly find themselves within the crosshairs of the Justice Department. So we can't say we haven't been warned. We knew this was coming. This was entirely predictable. All of the people who, who were in the Obama team who spied on Trump are now back and now there's going to be a real reckoning uh, because it, it, this isn't just a coincidence that all of the key players in Russiagate have now senior positions because we should just remember Susan Rice, very important player in Russiagate. She's domestic uh, affairs advisor to uh, the president. Jake Sullivan, national security advisor. Lisa Monaco, deputy attorney general. And now Susan Hennessy. All the chess pieces are in place. All right, Peter. Yeah, I mean, and we shouldn't be surprised by this. Uh, it, it's so shameful. I mean, uh, she had to delete all of those tweets. Okay, I mean, why? Why'd you do that? <laughs> you're, you're ashamed of what you wrote? Right. Um, well, she should be ashamed of it. Right. They, what, what's the real shame here? And, and we've been saying it from the get-go, is that um, Russia Gate, the Russiagate hoax now is policy. Okay, mm -hmm. it's policy. Right. And it will continue to be. And it, it may never will it may may they may never be able to extract it from policy moving forward. And that means 
um, buckle up and brace for impact. Right. Okay. Um, it's really shameful, you know, a really low octane thinker, um, someone that survived, uh, you know, uh, uh, on Twitter um, after everything was debunked every step of the way. And she kept, I mean, I, as far as I can tell, she's the last uh, um, uh, 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 steel dossier believer. I think she's the last. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's I mean, I everyone think. else kind of, you know, faded away, held their nose, took a shower. I had nothing to do with that. She continues to embrace it and it will inform her when she's making policy. Yes. And um, having someone in a position like that, um, that, that she has fangs, okay? She can, right. she can hurt right. people, all right? right. And, I, and maybe that was the entire point, okay? What they want to do is to, so to get rid of their sins, they have to get rid of everyone that exposed it, uh, that, uh, exposed their sins, okay? So this is an, uh, an, another inquisition is here. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a part of policy and, and it's proof positive is that it is again, as you and I said, is that they will never admit that they, they were wrong. They will never admit it was a hoax. They'll just say, we, all they'll say is that we were just outwinked. You know, it, it's still there. Okay. It's still there. Okay. Bill Barr, obviously an agent of Putin, obviously. Okay. I mean, that's their mindset. And there's no, I mean, and this is a cult. The Russia Gate hoax is a cult. It's a, no, no, that's, that's exactly right. And in fact, I mean, if you look through, um, the, the tweets of the last uh, couple of days, you know, all the true believers are still out there. They're all convinced. Yeah, Putin stole the 2016 election. You know, the evidence isn't there, but at some point, you know, we'll, we'll have that, uh, the transcript of that meeting that took place in some Turkish bath somewhere in which Trump and Putin plotted how they would steal the election. And so, yeah, and that will, you know, they will convince, be convinced of this because they can never accept that Trump won that election, uh, and, and so therefore, you know, the very same people who are absolutely convinced that election was stolen are the ones who say that that 2020 election was, you know, absolutely clean as a whistle. Not one thing, not one thing, was uh, was untoward about that election. Well, the, the the good news now, I suppose, is that Hunter Biden still has a chance to run the Drug Enforcement Agency. Yes, okay, is. I mean, he's still he's still in play. Okay. I mean, if, if Hennessy can get this job, Hunter, there's hope for you out there, okay? There is hope out there. Right. Maybe for the first time in your life, you'll be gainfully employed, That's okay? Right. Yeah, and yeah. and there, there'll be no question, at confirmation, there'll be no questions about crack pipes. We've right. taken care of that, okay? The, so, I mean, this is the absurdity of it all. Um, and in a different time, a different age, these people would have just faded away, changed their name, okay? And gone into gardening, okay? But this is what we this is what we have right now, and what it is for for people like this is it is an affirmation that they were right all along. So you can hold your head up high, okay? Yeah, no, that, that, that's exactly right. And of course, we've seen that uh, for some time. And remember, you know, very early on, we realized that the case against Michael Flynn was a complete fraud. Uh, we knew that, you know, very early on, there yeah. was, was a total fraud. He had done nothing wrong. Uh, the whole the whole story of his lying to the FBI was complete nonsense. It was all cooked up. You know, he actually told the truth. I did not discuss sanction. You know, I discussed the expulsion of the diplomats. So he was asked that question, did you discuss sanction? No, I didn't discuss sanction. You know, I, we were discussing the diplomats. So they, but they turned that, oh, he lied to the FBI. This was all apparent uh, very early on. But instead, the justice system continued in its in inexorable way to, to ruin this man, you know, because of that crazy judge. Apparently, you know, these judges who are just who are as fanatical as, as these Susan Hennessy's was determined to destroy Michael Flynn. Why? Because he was a political hack appointed by Bill Clinton and uh, Flynn had very bad relations with Barack Obama and Obama hated him. So he was determined to destroy Flynn. Now, that's not how the justice system is supposed to work. <laughs> we, we have a kind of independent judiciary for a reason. It's not supposed to be, you know, settling political scores, but, in, but that's what it's coming to be. Now, you get the people into the Justice Department and they are going to use the criminal uh, justice system to settle political scores. <laughs> and that's uh, very, very dangerous. I mean, you know, well, yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah, I, I was just going to say, in a different age, look at Al Capone. I mean, of great legend. Okay, we we the, the, it's common knowledge he was in, involved in very serious crimes, including murder. However, the FBI couldn't prove it, right, right. and so you got him on tax evasion. Right, right. Okay. And, or or wire uh, fraud. Everyone's everyone is you know uh, breaks the law when it comes to wire fraud. They always throw that one in, you know, and just put in wire fraud. Okay, my my point is agreeing with you here. Uh, in a different time, I mean, you didn't have the evidence. You just couldn't go to court. All right, right. And, and, but now it's the reverse. You have no evidence. We go to court. That's right. You know, because of course, and they have this wonderful thing called um, lying to uh, FBI because. You know, to everyone's the aside. FBI can lie to you, George. Yeah, yeah, then you walk. But you know, the amazing thing is, and, and you know, I think many people were unaware of this that apparently uh, the, the interviews with the FBI are not actually recorded. They're actually based on notes made by FBI agents who then write up the meeting subsequently. So when you have FBI agents such as Peter Strzok, who we know had a definite political agenda, well, gee, maybe. The notes that he's going to write up after the meeting, may, and then of course they were continually changed. I mean, he didn't just sort of go by, oh, well, that's that's the, my definitive version of. The they meeting. have three days. They yeah. have three days. Okay, right. but we know we've seen we've seen copies of it that's asking right. questions. You know, what do we get him for? Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, is that he didn't lie to the FBI, no. but no. the FBI lied about the interview. That's it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, and so, you know, and again, you know, you, you destroy uh, people's lives. Now, we know, we've seen what the Justice Department is now doing with Giuliani. This is no, this is no accident. I mean, we talked about this before. Uh, you know, they, you don't just go storming into somebody's uh, office and home and grab all his uh, uh, devices because you're investigating a, a violation of the Foreign uh, Agents Registration Act. You, you mean business. And why do you, why are they going after Giuliani? Well, Giuliani was an implacable foe of Biden. He spent his time investigating what the Bidens were doing in Ukraine. And they found out a lot. And this is payback. And of course, the ultimate target is Donald Trump. I mean, Trump was his client and they're going to use uh, his notes, his devices in order to go after Trump. Again, this, this is not the way a judicial system is supposed to work. This is the, this is the kind of things that governments that Tony Blinken uh, condemns when he talks about values. Yeah. Exactly. You know, well, we yeah. have to, you don't. <laughs> no, but what, what I find interesting, I hope I'm wrong, but I think I'm right, is that um, the investigation into Trump is full blast. It's going forward, okay? And now we, and I, I keep going back to the January 6th riots. They're going to start weaving all of this together. They're going to create another conspiracy hoax, okay? Because what that does, it decapitates the leader, and then it goes it goes down to the rank and file. I mean, these people are fanatics. They're in a cult, and right. there is nothing no. to stop them, okay? Because you could have all those folks at CNN and MSNBC. Oh yeah, well, I mean, obviously she's so qualified, okay? She's the one that followed uh, all of these shenanigans with the Trump people, though. It it never was nailed down, but we have our girl. We got our lady there, okay? Right. And it's important is that there's a national security angle to it. So again, the hoax will be kept alive and it continues to bleed into foreign policy. Right. That's right, but that, yeah, it, it, exactly. Um, because it maintains the whole- uh, the They were never wrong, George, right? They were never wrong. Right. And of course, it is a, an interesting thing, and I think you pointed out um, uh, before, which is the amazing thing about Russiagate is that there's no Russia in it. <laughs> you know, where, where are the Russians in all of this? They keep pumping uh, this guy, this Konstantin Kilimnik, who's just really basically an interpreter. He worked as a Manafort's interpreter because Manafort was up working in Ukraine. He spoke neither Russian nor Ukrainian. So, so he, he, he hired uh, Kilimnik. And they've been, you know, milking this whole the sinister Kilimnik without any evidence, you know, not, nothing at all, you know, pure speculation. Um, but but that's the thing. And of course, uh, the actual the, when they did try to bring a case against the Russians, which was, uh, you know, with with um, uh, that uh, internet research agency, 
uh, they had to drop it. Because yeah, because they, they, they couldn't go to um, a discovery because because right. those kids sent a lawyer and said, right. OK, let's do discovery. What? Who's this? You want to do what? Right. Boom. Right. Over. Now, let's give an analogy here. You know, Ur Urban, uh, Hungary's Urban, you know, this maniacal, evil character. Well, George, you live in Hungary. Right. Now, I mean, you need to explain yourself. Right. I mean, right. What is your connection to right. Urban? Yeah. I mean, you know, just because you live there, you want me, you know, come on, know, you know, yeah. come on, George, we got to talk, okay? No, you're you don't right. know a lawyer yet. You don't know, oh, no, no lawyer, okay? But George, you're in Hungary. You, you, you come on, you know something. That's exactly how these people operate. That, that's, that's exactly right. Because of the way the media present things, which is, oh, Russian government linked. So he's linked to the Russian government. And then you ask, well, what the hell does that mean? Well, the whole point, is it doesn't mean anything, but it sounds sinister that he has links to the Russian government. You know, he probably had beer once with somebody who worked for the Russian government. <laughs> and millions well, of people you know, the Russian, government, can say, to the Russian okay. government. I mean, all I can say, you live in Budapest, Urban lives in Budapest. Come on, don't snow us, George. Come I agree. On. It's a small city. You know, That's hard not to run into Orban, you know, or, you know, on the street and so and we exchange information. Uh, you know, we, we're making a lot, I, I've come up with a very um, uh, lighthearted example, but this is really serious business here because the country was dragged through a hoax. Um, no evidence was ever provided. Uh, it was completely vacuous. It was all, uh, it was all invented with no foundation whatsoever. And now we have people in power that are in complete denial and actually want to continue to build and, and they will continue. They, they will continue because they need um, the validation that this wasn't a hoax, that this is they were legitimate, you know, that this this thing that they put this country through for four years had basis to it, you know, they, and they're gonna they're gonna go up it. Now look at this I mean, this guy Durham, who was appointed two years ago by <laughs> you know, where is Durham? <laughs> I think Trump, I think at one point asked does he exist? And it's actually very interesting because if you go to um, uh, Google images, it's always the same image of Durham. I mean, it's like the same thing. I mean, you kind of have to wonder, does Durham exist? I mean, Avatar. Yeah, it's a, that same picture, you know, with that with the mustache and the people behind him. No other, there's no other images. <laughs> I mean, you really didn't suspect he was kind of invented. Oh, the Durham probe. Uh, and two years later, he's he's still probing away, I, you know, you know, still whatever the hell he's doing. But we have to think that she who has condemned Durham, you know, thought Durham was also part of some sinister conspiracy by uh, Bill Barr to cover up uh, Russiagate. She's going to be presumably overseeing the, the Durham probe. I don't think Durham's going to be around for very much longer. Not that it's a big loss, but like, because I don't think Durham would have ever found anything. I mean, he would have just been, you know, picking up a salary, just, you know, conducting his investigation forever. Yeah, uh, because but, nobody wants oh. to hear it. And there's no one in power wants to hear any right. results from Durham. Right. Yeah. Whatsoever. You know, I mean, to tell, you know, to kind of give, put this, uh, uh, in, in, in broaden this out, it was only a week ago, two weeks ago, Joe Scarborough said, well, I mean, basically we were right. Yes. I mean, with the collusion, we, it was, it was okay. you know, on the margins, there were some problems, you know, only missteps, but we were right. And, you know, here you have this audience saying, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. right. That's it. It, it's extraordinary that's right. what these people allow themselves. They delude themselves. Yes. And, and what they do is they have this entire professional managerial class around them that reinforce it all the time. Okay, we didn't really nail it down, but we were right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we may have got wrong uh, in this or that aspect. Uh, but of course, anyone who remembers Russiagate, the whole point was that they put together a whole bunch of incongruous events, the none, none of which had anything to do with one another. Uh, the only thing they had in common was somebody, but a Russian was involved. So we had the Trump Tower meeting, then we had Flynn talking on the phone to the um, uh, Russian ambassador. Then we had. Um, is this if this that never happens with the National Security yeah, exactly. Council advisor? Never. Paul Manafort was working in Ukraine, all of which is everyone knew was ancient history. Uh, so you kind of put all this together. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it all makes sense. You know. Yeah, and 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 so all of these characters 
were uh, convicted of process crimes that had nothing to do with Russia whatsoever. It was their they, they, it was their engagement with law enforcement, which we know now they weren't on the level. They were quite, very dishonest, lack of candor, as they like to say. Right. So you know the 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 and also what what people what happened at the FBI? Well, cleared out a whole floor of people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody wants to talk about that. They, you know, they want to go. You know, Roger Stone. Yes, you know, yes. a big mouth braggadocio. You know, that, that's what he trades in. That's, what he that's, that's how he makes what a he living. Does yeah. everybody's known yeah. that for decades? Ever since Nixon was yeah. around, it's that long. Okay, that's, that's, that's how he makes a living. You know, by being, yeah, he's a big mouth. Yeah, you know, he sells he sells his books. He sells his persona. You know, that, that's what he does. I mean, he's kind of like a mini Trump. I mean, he, you know, he's a, at a different level. He's selling himself. Um, and yeah, I mean, to take him seriously, the idea he was a conduit, not quite sure who the conduit was. I mean, remember, you know, oh, he's a conduit with Wiki, uh, with WikiLeaks, with Julian Assange. When the one communication we know about is when Julian Assange said to him, can you please stop pretending that you have anything to do with us? So, aha, a message. <laughs> Yeah, well, so this is a very bad, very sad and tragic development because these people have power, okay? You know, when, when you're at the Brookings Institute and you're on Twitter, you're just barking, okay? Yeah. Now you have power and that is very, very... See, the, 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 the thing in, in watching all of this, we can finish up on this, is that as you and I watch the Russiagate hoax unfold, I always just, and I still believe this is just a purely domestic political... Uh, intrigue, okay. Mm -hmm. But my, what I worried about and kept me up at night: if this if this bleeds into foreign policy, then we're in a bad place. Everyone is in a bad place, right. and the only way that they can continue legitimizing it is to let it bleed into foreign policy. So it's the worst of all possible worlds. Right. No, I I, I think that's right. I think that um, Russia was a very convenient um, issue that Hillary Clinton seized on because Obama had made a complete hash of uh, policy towards Russia, entirely on Obama. I mean, this was completely Obama's fault. He was a disastrous president, but relations by 2016 were terrible between Russia and the United States. And then they seized on this, a completely nonsensical story that Trump uh, had connection with Russia and always have had. So this person who, one of the most well-known people in American public life, has all, have all along been working for the Kremlin. I mean, can, can you imagine any of people believing this nonsense? But yeah, people want believe the nonsense because they wanted to believe the nonsense. That's right, because George, we all know you're a sleeper cell. A in sleeper, Japan. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Peter, uh, we will of course maintain our laser-like focus on the Biden Justice Department, the disastrous though it is. Injustice Department. Yeah. That's the Injustice Department, yeah. Uh, remember, we are now on Locals. So please look, in, look us up on the gaggle.locals.com um, and you know, try and support us as, as to whatever extent you can. Uh, we're also on Rumble, so look us up on Rumble. And if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.